Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. If you love all things Korean skincare and you're new here, please don't forget to hit subscribe anytime during the video if you want to see more from me. So today I want to talk about underrated K-beauty. Now, this isn't exactly undiscovered K-beauty. You've probably heard of some of these products or these brands before, but I really just want to put some love and attention and spotlight on products that I think are really stinking great but they just don't get talked about. You know, they just don't get the love that they deserve. So today I wanna share with you a bunch of hidden gems, so to speak, and if you are so ready to find out what they are, give the video a big thumbs up and let's get started. First up, Isn't Tree Micellar Melting Cleansing Oil. There's a couple of things about this that really make it stand out. Number one is the fact that it's fragrance-free. Like, look, finding fragrance-free and essential oil-free first cleansers, oil cleansers and balm cleansers, incredibly difficult in K-Beauty, is it not? I remember when I was first going fragrance-free looking for first cleansers, and I just spent so much time, and it was a very, like, non-rewarding experience. So it's great now that I have a few um, that I can go towards and this is one of them. So really awesome um, on the ingredients list, very minimal and should be very uh, good for sensitive skin. But this is just a stinking amazing oil cleanser. Like this just works so well. Not only is it effective, but it is a beautiful experience to use. You know, I, I don't know any other way to say it because the texture is just it's different than your average oil cleanser. It is so thin, it is so lightweight, it is so runny, it's got this beautiful glide across the skin. And even though it is lighter weight than most of your traditional oil cleansers, it is still effective. And maybe because it's thinner, it just gets in there better. So definitely, breaks down makeup, sunscreen, any kind of like just junk hanging around on your skin, just the, the day's dirt, right? It gets in there, it washes it away, uh, and it doesn't leave any residue on your skin. But I find this particular oil texture so, so good for getting out grits. Now, what are grits? Some people are like, what? is that like what you eat in the morning? No, um, what grits are? They're basically little hardened um, sebum, um, like clogs that, that are in your skin. They're pretty tiny. And, and honestly, the sensation of like popping one out of your skin just from like that friction of that oil cleanser and your fingers kind of feels like a little particle of sand. Um, I'm particularly prone to them. And I just find that this is like the best oil cleanser for that because all you need to do is just massage it onto your skin for like, 30 to 45 seconds, I mean, maybe up to a minute, like just, you don't need to do a lot, but just in um, inward circles, go towards your nose and that will lift up quite a bit. If you have any in your skin, you should start to pop them out with this one. So, so good, so, so satisfying, so, so pleasing. So I love the texture, I love the ingredients. It's so effective and nobody talks about it, but I am, this is an awesome oil cleanser. Clavu Sea Silt Repair Ampule. Now, Clavu, you know, it's definitely not the most popular KBD brand out there, um, but I wouldn't say that it's necessarily like an undiscovered or unknown brand. I think we've all at least heard of it, but I must admit this Sea Silt line in general uh, does does fly under the radar, especially in the face of their like pearlization line, I think it is, um, because these are actually some of the rare fragrance-free Clavu products. Yeah, this is this is a fragrance-free line. So first of all, um, let's talk about this gorgeous texture. <laughs> I sometimes, you know, I just fall in love with products for how they feel and what obviously what they bring, but how they feel on the skin. Sometimes the texture that experience is is really an important part of skincare. And this is such a beautiful texture because it's actually quite balancing. It brings hydration to your skin and moisture. It's both in one really um, pleasing, very breathable texture on the skin. I actually started using this at the tail end of winter and it was absolutely perfect to keep my skin protected, to keep it slightly moisturized without being too thick, without being too greasy, but it also kind of bridged that gap with some hydration as well. So I just love the texture. It's kind of a medium weight serum. It's not, it's not greasy. It doesn't make you shiny. It absorbs very nicely with no stickiness. So just really ideal texture all around, especially for more combo to dry skin types. So let's talk about sea silt for a second, because this is not an ingredient that was on my radar at all when I picked this serum up. This was like definitely like something I 
picked up on a whim and I'm not gonna lie I was really attracted to the color of the bottle and the fact that it was fragrance free but I really didn't know what to expect from sea silt now this is actually an ingredient that really promotes moisture retention in the skin it can really help your skin's moisture barrier function it can really just help the overall health of your skin it also delivers a lot of vital like minerals and vitamins into the skin so just overall it's really all about supporting healthy skin and over my journey through all kinds of skincare and skincare philosophies I have found that really gentle balancing types of products really focusing on the health of my moisture barrier has brought out the best skin possible yes you need brightening and anti-aging and all of that but just focusing on the health of your skin will take you a really long way but do you happen to know what the secret sauce ingredient is to way too crazy expensive Le Mer products are? Sea silt. Oh yes. Oh yes. I mean, we're talking about you know, skincare products over a hundred dollars for one thing. And this Clavu serum also features that secret sauce ingredient, sea silt. So I feel like more people need to know about this because if you're attracted to the idea of this like really fancy skincare Le Mer, but you just can't open your wallet for it because you can't <laughs> you know you shouldn't maybe check out clavu first now i don't think that anybody could argue that benton is an underrated brand benton has really built their name on the snail bee line it was like their first line of products i know way back when it was one of the first kbd brands that i ever tried um and i i do enjoy their products but you know i think that we could argue that there is one product in their snail bee line that just doesn't get the attention that it deserves. And it's a real shame. You know, that's the Snail Bee Ultimate Serum. And the snail that they're using is fermented, where in the essence, it's not. And as you may know, when you ferment an ingredient, you really bring out and unlock all kinds of benefits and goodies because fermenting an ingredient brings out more of its antioxidant powers. It can really help the um, absorption of just the overall formulation. And when you enhance the absorption, when you can get it to absorb better um, into the skin, you're going to unlock more benefits. It's going to be more beneficial for the skin, and it's also going to potentially work faster for you as well you're gonna get those results sooner when you ferment an ingredient what I always say it's like it supercharges the ingredient it's like that ingredient on steroids in a good way now I've been a big fan of the snail bee line uh, for many many years I have a lot of experience with the essence and the serum and you know thinking about them side by side texture aside because they are different you know the serum just works faster. It works better, in my opinion. It reduces inflammation, redness. It's got some great um, anti-acne benefits to it. And I do feel that the more popular essence you know, it is a very good anti-acne snail formulation. I don't think that you miss out on the benefits in the serum, but I do feel like the serum, because it is fermented, it unlocks more of snail's anti-aging potential. That's really what I, I noticed the difference between the two. It's, it works a little bit faster and it's got a little bit more of that preventative care to it. It's so fantastic. I think it, it holds its, its own right up against all the other fantastic snail serums that I enjoy, like from Purito and iUni it holds its own right up there but it's just one of those forgotten Benton products and it shouldn't be that way I totally recommend and love this snail product okay I want to switch gears here a little bit and talk about an underrated ingredient <laughs> yeah um, an underrated ingredient what could that be um, it's beta-glucan yeah now I talk about beta-glucan all the time so like between you and me it's not that underrated the general world of skincare and the general world of k-beauty I don't feel like it gets the hype that it deserves because I always hear about hyaluronic acid and like don't get me wrong it's it's a fine ingredient I don't personally love it um, I, I haven't fallen for the hype of hyaluronic acid. I think that it is a good ingredient. I don't think it's a great ingredient, but it gets treated like a great ingredient all the time. People talk about it. They hype it. I don't know what who's marketing hyaluronic acid as an ingredient, but like it has really like hit stardom. But there's this other ingredient in the shadows that's really fantastic for hydrating the skin. It's really great for supporting oil and water balance. It's got a really lovely, pleasing texture on the skin. And it seems, especially coming from somebody who suffers from dehydrated skin, 
it seems to be a much more compatible ingredient for dehydration than hyaluronic acid would ever be. Beta-glucan is really deserving of a lot more hype than it gets. So besides just balancing skin's oil and water, beta-glucan has a lot of different benefits for the skin, like wound healing. It can really help soothe irritated skin. It's got a lot of antioxidants, and it's a great uh, preventative anti-aging ingredient. So it is very, very well-rounded and brings a lot of benefits for skin. So what better way to celebrate this underrated ingredient than to introduce you to a brand that nobody talks about which features beta-glucan heavily, and that is J Moon or Cosmetic Immunity. They have a fantastic uh, spray toner. I love this because it's that type of toner texture that is so light, it is so hydrating, but it's got that little bit of balance to it that little bit of protective um, kind of moisture to it that is so good for dehydrated skin because it gets in there, it hydrates, and then it protects. It kind of helps hug it into place. But it's not a heavy textured toner. It's not thick. It just absorbs immediately, and that spray really helps kind of seal the deal. This is like that really ideal type of toner, especially if you feel dehydrated right out of getting out of the shower or bath. Have this ready to go and just go I love their serum as well because the texture is incredibly elegant. This is what I would call a four seasons serum. It will work for every season for the hottest temperatures and the coldest temperatures because it's just so good for balancing out the skin without stickiness, without thickness, without oiliness, without any of the weird stuff, right? It's just a very, very pleasing, lightweight, easily absorbed serum that does the job. It brings hydration and a touch of non-greasy moisture. And their moisturizer is the moisturizer that made me believe in gel lightweight moisturizers for my skin. I was so incredibly surprised by this. It is a very lightweight texture. It feels very hydrating as you spread it onto your skin and it creates just this very very thin lightweight breathable like gel moisturizer feel on the skin but but it's that power of beta glucan I'm sure because this fights transepidermal water loss dehydration amazingly and as I mentioned I have dehydrated skin I like a moisturizer that hugs hydration in it doesn't let it escape and yet so many gel moisturizers are just too lightweight they just they just could not protect the skin even if they wanted to right but this does next up i want to talk about two moisturizers from innisfree what Kelly, Innisfree is not underrated. This girl's crazy. No, I know. I'm reading your mind right now, but no, um, I know that Innisfree is not an underrated brand whatsoever. However, the two that I want to talk about, I mean, honestly, yeah, I don't hear that many people talking about them, number one, but number two, these are kind of oddballs in the Innisfree line. Like Innisfree has a ton of products, but most of us don't really get past like the green tea line or the orchid line, right? These don't contain fragrance. So just there alone, they are very like different. These are also slightly more expensive and Innisfree kind of has this they have a range of prices. I think everybody thinks about Innisfree as being quite cheap or not cheap, but just inexpensive, like lower end, right? And these products are slightly more on their mid end price range. Um, Innisfree does have a few more. I think that they're kind of gearing towards more premium products. And I, I would say that these fall into it. So what in the world am I talking about? So first up is the Ado Soothing Cream. Now I've actually, just side note, I've gotten this question a lot, question that I've had before. What is Ado? What does that mean? Is it an ingredient? What is it? Um, and it actually is kind of a code word for sensitive skin. Um, Ado is shortened for the word atopic. And in Korea, when the brands put the word Ado on it, they're basically saying that this is going to be appropriate for very, very sensitive skin. So a lot of times it will mean a fragrance free product, but not always. <sighs> gotta complicate things but it is kind of a keyword into that this might be great for sensitive skin now this moisturizer features ceramides cholesterol and fatty acids oh yes you know that these this is the golden trio of ingredients that I look for in my moisturizers and if you have a damaged or weak moisture barrier or just want to keep your eye on the prize when it comes to moisture barrier health you need these ingredients I would say this is like a medium weight cream um, it's got a really beautiful um, a spread on the skin it'll 
absorbs very quickly. It really doesn't leave like greasiness or shininess on top of your skin. There's really no richness on top of the skin, but there is a, a really beautiful nourishing emolliency to this once it is absorbed into your skin. Um, that really makes your skin feel very protected, very nourished, very conditioned, very moisturized without greasiness, without heaviness. It's very breathable. It's just such a beautiful cream all around. Now they also have a green tea and probiotics cream and really it is quite similar in formulation to the Ado Soothing Cream, but the textures are a little bit different. I would say that this one is a little bit more on the trend, it's trying to be anyways on the trendier side with the probiotics. I think probiotics and skincare is a little bit more marketing than anything else. I'm not too concerned about it being in the name of the product, but this does have ceramides, cholesterol, and fatty acids, and that's your golden ticket to moisture barrier health and just healthy skin overall. So the texture of this is actually lighter than the Ado Soothing Cream. So this is gonna be um, appropriate for those of you who are searching for that ceramide cholesterol fatty acid cream, but you don't want something that's more medium weight or as nourishing on the skin, something a little bit more appropriate for a little bit more oily skin types. This is going to be great for you because it actually has this really nice, slightly almost hydrating feel on the skin. Very lightweight, very breathable, but it does just leave that little protective layer on the skin that is going to help fight the, the um, dehydration associated with weak and damaged moisture barriers. Now, Bonajour is a brand that I think gets overshadowed by its similar competitors because it is a brand that feels very similar to a Purito or an Isen tree, but they just don't really get the love that they deserve. Their green tea water bomb cream is so nice. It is so surprising. Now, who doesn't love a little bit of green tea, right? This is a water drop cream. So it is meant to bring a lot of hydration into the skin while being a really lightweight kind of gel type moisturizer. I mean, water bomb. They really deliver on the water bomb promise. This burst of hydration out of the skin. It is so cooling. It is so refreshing. Um, it feels so hydrating and good on the skin. It absorbs really quickly, but there is this moisture. You can feel this richness, this nourishment to this cream. There are a few different oils in this one. And for me, I have combination skin. It leans a little bit more on the dry side. So I just so appreciate nourishment in my, in my products. And this delivers the best of both worlds. It is lightweight, it is hydrating, it is refreshing, it is cooling, which is that whisper of nourishment, that whisper of that just little bit of balancing oil on the skin, just to keep your skin protected, to keep it nourished, right? To balance that hydration out. It feels so good, it feels so light, it feels so, I mean, this is like the best summertime moisturizer, right? Because it's so breathable. And because there's that little touch of moisture to it, it does have a little glass skin, um, kind of dewy effect to it, a little finish at the end. Some people may not appreciate that. I mean, I'll take all the dew I can get. Um, so I actually, I kind of like that, especially if you don't like, like to wear makeup, but you want a little bit of dew. It's got a really beautiful finish. They also have a green tea water bomb toner. And this is an awesome product that definitely delivers on the water bomb experience as well. Now, this toner, a little bit thicker in texture. Um, it's, it's very full body, kind of syrup-like, but it does have that burst of hydration to it with just a little, a little touch of balancing moisture. Now, this is not how the cream feels. It's not, it doesn't have like an oil to it. It's just that little balance to it. The ingredients, super interesting. I mean, again, who doesn't love green tea, right? This also uses three different types of hyaluronic acid, but what I was so impressed to see was peptides. Wow, yeah, peptides in a toner. Um, this was really exciting because it's using copper tripeptide one, which is a fantastic anti-aging peptide. And then they're also using what is actually a Korean like developed um, peptide complex called uh, neuropeptide one and two. And they are very good for healing and repairing the skin. Sika creams, you know, um, these are really one of those unique products to K-Beauty, the fantastic anti anti-irritation cream. And the one that I hear about all the time is the Claire's Midnight Blue Calming Cream. 
I get it. It's blue. It's beautiful. It works fairly well, definitely. And it's also kind of pricey. But all that being said, I do think that there are some better Sika Cream options out there. And these two, I never hear people talking about, but they happen to be my favorite ones. And the first one is the Misha Near Skin Made Cannel Cream. Made Cannel, very weird name. It is actually a combination of the two star ingredients, which is Madagascaside, the beautiful um, anti irritation uh, compound found in centella and panthenol which is a really beautiful skin hydrator and moisturizer very balancing good for your moisture barrier but it does have its own really good skin soothing properties also super exciting to note one of my favorite anti-irritation ingredients found here mugwort yep we got some mugwort in this formulation as well the texture of this one it is it's got a really beautiful light occlusivity uh, to it um, it feels um, very nice and protective on the skin and this works so well so quickly. I've used this so many different ways. It works for full face application. It works for pimples. I sometimes get really itchy skin and I can get really red, like especially in my arms during allergies. It's crazy. During allergy season, this works almost immediately to bring relief. I've used it on bug bites. It has really helped to reduce the itching so, so much. Like it works really fast, it works really effectively, and it's so affordable. Probably my all-time favorite Sika cream is the Iope Derma Sika cream. Before I even get started with the review though, I have to tell you, it's becoming really hard to find. And it's frustrating because I wanna talk about this product so much, but like, you guys can't find it. And so it's just, it's just frustrating to hear about how amazing something is and then just have a hard time finding it. Um, you can usually find it on like eBay and Amazon, but a lot of the bigger retailers, I'm just finding in general, like Iope, unless you're gonna buy straight from Aritam, like it's really hard to find. So it's, an, it's unfortunate because I really like Iope, but it is what it is, right? Much like the uh, Misha cream, you know, this is something that works for a lot of different situations and it brings a lot of immediate relief to my skin, whether it be pimples, whether it be irritation on my face, on my body, bug bites, this stuff works. But what really endears this particular one to me and really just makes it rise above the rest is that I can use this as a moisturizer. This feels so, like the texture is just so incredibly elegant. It is um, really that nice kind of cream that brings balance to the skin. It is uh, nourishing, it has emolliency, but it's not greasy, it's not heavy, it's not thick, it's not waxy. Some Sika creams can get kind of on the waxy side, this isn't that. Just really beautiful, um, absorbs in the skin so well, but it has that protective element that makes it an ideal moisturizer replacement when the affected area, right, when they say, apply to the affected area. When the affected area is your entire face, this can replace your moisturizer easily. So I'm curious, what's an underrated K beauty product that doesn't get the love it deserves according to you? Let me know in the comment box below. And let me know, did you enjoy the format of this video? Because I think I might like to do more down the road as I discover more underrated K beauty products. If you enjoyed the video, it was helpful and you wanna see more from me, please consider subscribing uh, to my channel I release two new Korean skincare focused videos every single week and turn on notifications because sometimes I release surprise bonus videos. So you don't want to miss out on the bonus content. And um, if you want to connect with me further um, away from YouTube, come join me on Instagram. It's kind of my home away from home. I post all kinds of mini reviews, uh, routines, and I, I kind of introduce some products that you might not see on YouTube over on Instagram. So come join me if you want to. I cannot wait to see you guys in the next video. I really hope that you are healthy, happy, and safe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.